Okay, so it seems like we found a balance here. Good. Good. All right. Ooh, that's what I want to see. This is exactly what I wanted to see. Hot, hot, hot everywhere, except for on the other side of my insulating walls here. Uh, this is, uh, eh, it's not a problem. Not worried about that. ODB. Oh, dirty. Uh, where should I put that? I mean, eventually we are going to have a, uh, a kind of a nice rec room. I just don't know where I'm going to put it. I have plenty of room. Like, room room. And I have lots of rec room stuff. We're supposed to go to space, too, by the way, guys. <laughs> it's like I get carried away here. Uh, oh, it was mentioned that maybe we should pipe some hydrogen into here to help keep this area cool. I wonder if we should start that process because this is a very slowly but inevitably depleting source of cool air. Um, so I wonder if I should start to seal this off. Yeah, I have plenty of hydrogen. I mean, look, hydrogen right here, like right outside my door, right? And this is coming from, uh, and there's plenty more. Yeah, look at that. It's actually backed up. Which is uh, actually going to cause a problem. So you know what? Maybe it is a good idea. Let's fucking do it. Let's create a seal. It's gonna we have like water problems all over the place, but at the very least we could kind of halt some of this. I don't think we're doing insulated. No, just regular tile work. Let me see. Regular tile. We'll do this up here as well. Or maybe actually we just close this door. Let's go uh, lock it. So that'll keep that. Oh no, there's a leak over here too, actually. So even locking that door is not gonna do anything. So it just auto. And then, or I should just open, I guess, for now. And then we'll go up here and we'll have that. I could just seal this off. This is one part. That'll do it. Which means I have to do this. Whoops, wrong button. G that. What's my priority on that? Five. <laughs> Five. Let's never get done. Will this create your own personal Hindenburg? <laughs> All the humanity just dupes, just <sighs> the whole the whole zone just implodes. Uh, I suppose as long as we don't take a light over here, we're fine. But yeah, the uh, the nullifier I think will be much happier sitting in hydrogen, much much happier sitting in hydrogen. There we go. So now go over here and do that. We're gonna have lots of water build up. This thing might become flooded actually over time. We should go ahead and tell it to start tell them to start doing a little bit of this. I think we will have to end up having some drains or something over here and just have the water filtered at some point, but... Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, we could just jam this whole thing up with, uh... Who should I stick in this thing? Is it Lindsay in this thing? Uh, that's a lot of hydrogen since that cooler is in the bottom. Yeah, it's not centralized or anything. Uh, but I think if I... Here, here's here's what I'm thinking. We take... We take this already pre-existing pipe and we just put one vent right here. Right? Just one vent to just to continue to pump out uh, oxygen. Probably put like one more door here just to create like a just an extra seal. Um... What is it made out of here? Mm, I don't really care about thermal conductivity at this part here, I don't think. Just want to get something that is, uh, that I have lots of. Okay, this is copper, is fine. <laughs> and then that way, the hydrogen has no place to go but to go up and out this way. Um, and it'll push through the, uh, the actual machine. That should work. Can I deconstruct that? Yeah. Good point on uh, with a with a vent gas valve. That's a good point. I do need to do that. So I'm gonna kill this. That way I could put it up one more uh, and have the the valve right here. Let me go and actually get that part built. <sighs> Let me see. Mm, gas shut off. Gas valve. Where should go? Gas shut off. Oh, it needs power. I don't have power out here. Passive is all we need. Passive, passive. Vent. Are they actually gonna break this thing? No time soon. Okay, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a fight we're gonna win there, buddy. <laughs> All right, so we'll build that. It's going to get ventilation going to it. Uh, Insulated gas pipe. We'll go and continue that. And then this go up, and that's where the vent's gonna be. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> you were mopping. 
Well, there's a constant stream of water falling down on you, so it's just not gonna happen. <laughs> Diligently mopping, though. I mean, you were getting work done. <laughs> oh, 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 uh oh. Complete neural process. Okay, when, phew, Lindsay's brain is still vibrating, but they've never felt better. Lindsay acquired the beefsteak traits. Beefsteak. This duplicate's got muscles on their muscles. Lindsay now has plus 10 strength. Look at her go. Ripped. Oh, and she just pissed herself. <laughs> she couldn't have timed that any better. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Alright, let's go ahead and close this door. Um, we'll lock it. <laughs> the bladder is a muscle. Yes, she's still- she's not used to her big strong muscles yet, guys. That's the problem. She's still not used to- <sighs> Alright, <laughs> sploosh. Okay. And then, um... We're gonna- it's gonna be a trickle. Yeah, it's a good- smart. Oh, there's a- there's a wheeze wart there. Uh, so it'll be a trickle. We'll make it like... A hundred. And then we will put a vent there. And... It's, what's that set to? Nine. Okay, good. So they'll build a door and then they'll build that in. I think the underneath, the thing's not... There you go. And this house will be set... Oh, it is set to nine. Okay. Or set to a hundred. What up, corpse? What's it happening? I wonder if the hydrant is actually going to save this this whole thing. Do we have any other vacuum leaks? I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, it looks like we've pretty much sealed it off with this door here. So I guess as long as this ice here doesn't melt, we're fine. Three layers of ice. That's technically tundra. Three layers of ice. Here we go. Vent's going in. Speed it up. Well, I just need to get that pipe finished. And then we should start to see... What temperature is this? 62 degrees! So thankfully, the hydrogen is already pretty chill. Uh, over here it's 75 degrees. And inside are probably around the same. Somewhere between the two. Why oh, they really don't want to come over here and finish that goddamn vent. Never mind. Okay. There's something at, that's uh, there's a geyser. It's a tiny little chunk of it, but it's not actually putting out any heat. It's been open for like a hundred cycles now, so... My man, Omni! <laughs> Come on, guys, finish this up before bedtime! The door, yes, thank you for building the door! <laughs> but I want... This... Done. There we go, alright, now we have some hydrogen coming out. Gonna be displacing some of the hardly breathable gas in here, yeah. So it'll compress all that. It'll probably actually go past this and then move up. So we're probably gonna have like a uh, a, a cushion of, uh, of oxygen and polluted oxygen down here. So we'll have to figure out a way to get rid of that later. But for right now, we should see... Yeah, here we go. I actually wonder if we could we fast forward this. Everything else seems to be under control right now. No long commutes, no research selective damage overheated. Okay, so yeah, I wonder if we just watch this for just a second. If we can actually see it cooling. Like, what is the gas values up here? Uh, you know, we are trickling the tiniest little amount, so let's come back and check it later. Let's just look at this right now and say that what? The, uh, uh, let's see, right above it is, let's pause, 37 degrees, 40 degrees, the actual unit itself is 50 degrees. So just remember, the unit itself is 50 degrees. Let's take a reading up here by the door. Uh, zero degrees. Okay, cool. So that's pretty cold, I guess. And we'll come back later. Look, this whole area is going to fill with, with hydrogen. Where are they going? Okay, nowhere. I don't think anybody else needs- outside of changing the setting on this, I don't think anybody needs to go over here for anything. Plus, we have basically a water seal almost, this damn thing. Uh-oh. that granite? That's granite. Okay, good, so we're not gonna get a leak through here. Although we do have some hydrogen over here that's built up, but I don't think that's from this setup. And if it is, it's fine. Ain't worried about it. But, thankfully, it's also freeing up this, which means we probably had some, uh, some days of poor oxygen generation, I'm guessing. Because the pipe was blocked. Let me see. Oh, let's just go to Colony Summary here and take a look. Take a look at our PNL. 
Mm-hmm. Look, see? So we had a significant drop in oxygen generation. I bet that's what both of like both of these peaks and valleys, or all these peaks and valleys, is probably moments where it was uh, clogged, basically, because the hydrogen, the split between hydrogen and oxygen going one way, hydrogen going the other, the hydrogen was was actually completely backed up because the two reservoirs were full. Therefore, we have these peaks and valleys. Um, so oxygen consumed is super low here. I don't know why that is super low. We would still consume about the same amount unless they're holding the breath. Actually, they were holding their breath for a good amount of cycles right there because they were working in the area where they couldn't breathe. Huh, how funny. Huh. What is that? Don't, <laughs> don't you bring that work talking here, PL? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Yep. That's some old them old retail bones. Uh <laughs> can't help it. Let me see how this doing. Eh, it's still warm, but at least it's not putting any more heat out here in this area. Oh, you did ask, Han asked uh, what the temperature of this thing was. 114 degrees. Not too bad, but maybe we should go ahead and put some temp shift plates on this thing. If I do that, what is it gonna do? Is it gonna heat this water? Oh. <gasps> okay. If I put radiant pipes back here, it will just suck up all the heat that's being generated by these natty gas generators. However, it'll also heat the water. The water coming out is 60 degrees. We can afford to make, to add a little bit of heat to that. We don't need 60 degree water. It's like 80, 90 is fine. 100 degrees is fine. Uh, Anything over 100, though, is really pushing. Even 100 degrees is actually not quite fine. Um, yeah. Let's put a couple radiance here and see what it, what it does. We'll put, like, a... Let's see. Let's pause real quick. One here. And then one here. And then I have to go through and cancel out one because it builds two. So we'll do uh, one there and one there. Oh, 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 oh. It did not do... We have something that's breaking, actually. Why is that breaking? Why is it breaking? Oh, did it get a different gas? Oh, there's some polluted oxygen in here. Oh, we're actually running out of natural gas. Why? These guys are not uh, dormant and dormant. All right, so we're going to run into a couple of small problems with polluted gas. And it's going to do some damage. And we can't really afford to waste all of that aluminum ore or whatever it is made out of because... Because we just can't afford it. How am I? Okay, let's actually, let's do a tally. Let's, let's go look and see. Pluto oxygen, none. Pluto oxygen, 465 grams. It's basically nothing. Pluto oxygen, zero. Zero. 72.9. Zero. Okay, so overall, we could suffer that a little bit. But let's go ahead and turn the switch on this. Let me see. Turn off. That way we're not continuing to to eat up all that nasty air. We'll wait for it to recompress with actual natural gas, and then we'll start it up again. Sand and water. Don't really need water. Don't really need sand. We can remake water because we're peeing everywhere. So we'll come back to that. There we go. Oh, that door is locked. They don't actually don't have a way over there doing it with that door locked. How funny. Well, I put that lock on the wrong side, didn't I? Let's go auto. Yeah, because I don't want them to have access to all this back here. Oh, wait a minute. They could do it from the... They could do it from down here, actually. So suit up. Okay, cool. So we'll go and leave that unlocked. And then we'll make this a... Right now. Right now. Turn it off. It's feeding nastiness to our stuff. Oh, also this. Clean this up. <laughs> Clean this shit up. Can I go through here? Oops. There we go. <laughs> All these old ass permissions. There we go. Just flip the switch. And we're good. Done. Thank you. You're good. And we'll wait for these things. These guys are just start to recompress this area. Yeah, look at that. That's all. It's basically just oh that's wrong. Wrong filter. Sorry. Uh yeah, oh wow, it's super thin. This is like this is you see how orange this is down here? This is this little room actually has more natural gas than probably this entire column. So no wonder we were sucking up all that uh, hydrogen. Ooh, look at that. Breathable air. <sighs> ah, 
no gas separator because I didn't want to dedicate the power to it. I run a very low tech shop here. I'm trying to keep, uh. <laughs> Hold on a second. That is not what I had in mind. <laughs> they dismantled my natural gas generators. <laughs> <laughs> I did select buildings and then I clicked on it thinking that which I was oh, I don't know what I was thinking. All right, let's put that up. That does help with heat generation. <laughs> okay, let's go put those back. Uh we'll make them out of whatever. See, some thermally reactive. Let's make them out of something that's thermally reactive. Therm ther high thermal conductivity, that's what we want. Oh man. All right, what was that one here, I think? Yes, of course it was. Yeah, it wouldn't fit anywhere else. And this one was also here. And we also have some uh, some weirdness going on with the pipes. Let's go ahead and reconnect these using insulated. And that should still give us... If I do that, and then I do this, and then I connect this with radiant, what does that do? Oh, good. Just draws it out. Perfect. <laughs> okay. What's the water coming in at? Uh, oh wow, this is huge globs because it's all backed up. Great. Not much though. But at least we caught that one in time. Mission accomplished. So what was the water coming in? Uh, what did I say? What, it was like a hundred degrees going in or something? Well now it should be a little bit warmer. Well actually, yeah, we can look at this right now. 105, 105. Well, that's all coming from there. What's over here? This side. Why is this? No power. Oh, duh. <laughs> yes, I wonder why. <laughs> pipe blocked. What pipe is blocked? Oh my god. I did everything. I did everything to fuck this up, didn't I? All right, let's make this emergency. <laughs> Should have double checked your. Oh, thank you. Thank you, mom. <laughs> is this right? Is that how I have set up? Yeah. So it's going down there. Okay. Yeah, that's right. No power. I'm glad we caught that when we did. Uh, so water's coming down now. Huge globs of water. 156 degrees. Regular temperature, 156 degrees. Okay, good. So 156 degrees going through. It's going to come out. Should be hotter, but now the machines are brand new. So they're not putting out any heat. So I guess that experiment's going to be, you know. <laughs> Everything was going too smoothly. You're right. We're going to have some damage on this thing, but I think we have the aluminum ore to fix it. And if it gives us any more guff, then I'll go ahead and make it out of something else. Like, uh, guff meaning if we run out of aluminum ore, which we're not going to anytime soon. Not before we empty out all the polluted gases and all these, I don't think. I don't have a filter because I don't want to pay for the damn thing. That's all. That's all it is. I don't want to pay for the damn thing. Um, but maybe I should. How much? How bad is it? There's a couple of little, the tiniest little chunks. Super tiny. It's fine. It's fine. Are we supposed to go to space today? <laughs> that shit ain't happening. <laughs> oh man. Hydrogen up here is looking pretty good. Hydrogen up here is looking pretty good. Even though we don't really need it up there. Uh, how is this space going? Yes, this is what I really want to uh, monitor here. Right here it's uh, it's pause. Oh my god, it's hard to tell because it's all over the place. Over here with zero degrees. It's getting warmer. No, nah, no, nah, it's about the same. I don't think we've really given enough time. I think we need to give this thing like hundreds of cycles in order for it to really have an impact. Let me see. 12 degrees. What is the what is it over here in this corner? 20 degrees. 20 something degrees. Late 20 degrees, right? 20, yeah, 25 degrees, we'll say. Over here, 20 degrees. Okay. So the hydrogen is cooler as it moves away. But the question is, can it can we maintain that coolness? I don't have enough of these machines to keep things cold. And I can't really afford to put more power out here to cool things. Hmm. You'll get to space sooner or later. I know. I really want to. Because I haven't done it yet. In SC. Oh, I don't even have the damn... I need to get the kiln going. I got all kinds of stuff I gotta do. Question is, is this actually working? Oh yeah, look at all the heat that this thing's putting off. Holy crap. Now, is the water gonna actually absorb that? Now that it's putting out heat, we could probably see 145 degrees. It goes in at what? 155 degrees and it comes out cooler? I think we need more radiant pipe. More radiant pipe. It's good that we're tackling some of these issues now, because otherwise we would, you know, okay, well, sure. Emergency. What is it made out of? 
aluminum, high thermal conductivity. Sure, that sounds good. Um, because these things add up super quick, right? And the next thing you know, your base is like spiraling out of control because it's too hot and the dupes are super upset. So that's why, like, you know, <laughs> I have to take these steps in order to make sure this stuff doesn't, uh, like, look at all the heat it's putting out. Oh my god. You know what it is? So my idea is actually doing the reverse. I thought that maybe it would absorb some of the heat. But no, it is actually uh, dispersing some of that heat because the water in the pipe is hotter. I don't even know why I didn't look at this. Yeah, so this is, I, I can already see this is a failure because look, it's coming out 10 degrees colder. So no, this is a, this is a failed experiment. Uh, the area is not quite hot enough. It would reach an equilibrium and eventually it would reach a point where it would stop, but that would probably be somewhere between 130 degrees, and 140 degrees. So did Lindsay mark the natural gas generators? No, she did not, but she doesn't have access to, oh yeah, she, she could go all the way through and go over here and, uh, start to work on this. Analyze. There we go. I'll set them both to analyze. Oh, she can't reach that one though. Put a ladder here. Uh, Oh man, gold, look at that gold. <laughs> another time, another time, a little chunk of gold. So yeah, uh, I think temp shift plates probably the best thing to do just to keep that heat from centralizing there. You know, like a little bottle of hot gas or hot air, hot whatever. Um, so let's go and replace that then with, uh, with insulated pipes again, damn. Hey, at least I got all that metal back though. Let's see. This water that comes out is... Yeah, what is the temperature of the water that comes out? 100 degrees. Temperature of the surrounding area. I guess we'll have to wait for this to, to equalize again. Just to see if maybe we could get some value out of putting radiant pipe down here. These tiny little globules of water will definitely absorb whatever heat we put on them. But the question is, I mean, the water's coming out at 114 degrees. Is that going to be... No, it's probably still too hot. Stupid hot elements, I know. <laughs> Stupid sexy flanders. Let's put some... What are the ground plates under? Or the backing plates under? Oxygen, power, food, plumbing, ventilation, refinement. What is it under, I wonder? Uh, stations? No, no. Uh, utilities, probably. Yeah, temp shift plate. There we go. Temp shift plate. High thermal conductivity, thermally reactive. That's what we want, right? Something that thermally reactive will pull the heat away. Sedimentary rock. Slow heating, slow heating. So let's try that. It'll quickly fluctuate in temperature. That should be good. Yeah. So let's go and make some of those. Out of rock. Get anything? No. Okay, good. We'll see how that does for that area. So a lot of that, you can see there's a lot of material on the ground that's already super hot, so that's gonna be, uh, it's not a problem, but it's annoying. <laughs> it's gonna be annoying. How's this doing over here? Ashley, is Lindsay over here studying these things? Well, we got the ladder built. Oh, this is going off. Fantastic. Good. We'll wait till it gets, uh, nice and Condense and then we'll go from there. We're gonna let a bunch of natural gas in the in the room though, because it's natural gas is built up down here, isn't it? Oh, it's mostly <laughs> so it's already actually come out. <laughs> okay. What is this? Oh, pollute oxygen. That's nah, fine. This gas over here, six point three. It's filling up all these little crevices. Look at that, negative twenty-two degrees Fahrenheit. God, I really hope this works. But this is, this is exactly what I said would happen. That we would have... Hey, Buffy! How's it going? Did I get bunked with Lindsay? Uh, you were with, uh, Donis. You were with Donis. Um... Things are going great. So, the gas... Okay, as I mentioned earlier... <laughs> <laughs> I mentioned earlier that the, uh, by putting more hydrogen in the room here, we're going to create a cushion of nasty air and we're going to have to deal with it. Uh, and unfortunately that nasty air is going to bunch up around the, uh, uh, the machine that's actually 
supposed to be cooling things. So that's not going to help us in the long run. So we do have to... We're going to have to get this oxygen out of here. Or this, yeah, this oxygen out of here. Eventually, I think if we wait probably another 20 cycles or so, we will uh, we'll have like a nice, like, thick cushion of gas that we can um, just very quickly just, just siphon out. Alternatively, I could just poke a hole right here. Hydrogen goes up. Everything else is going to go down. Oh, I'm really hungry. Oh, oh you, I feel like you guys could have heard that. Holy shit. <laughs> God, can you guys hold on? Can you hear that? <laughs> Man. Uh, no, let's, let's wait for the pressure to build up some more. That, it's just pretty dense, actually. Let's go ahead and pop it and see what happens. Genuinely curious what happens here. Some of it's going to come out here, which is fine, but... Weirdo ASMR. Someone come out here and do it. Oh! Okay, they did it. So we're gonna go back and watch a second. Hatchling, uh, eat everything and turn it into... Yeah, sure. There it goes. Can we, uh, can we watch it? Look at that, look at that, look at that. Polluted gas immediately starts pushing its way through. That's what I want to see. We'll, we'll just keep doing this until we get all that polluted gas out. I should have waited a little bit, but this is fine. Uh-oh. We have a water seal here that's going to get broken right there. So we're going to have to build a seal across this. Let's go actually go ahead and do that. We'll make it uh, insulated, uh, thermally reactive, I guess. Sure. We'll just go straight across. Is that ice right there? Let me see. We don't have a choice here. Evening. Cookies. What is this? Uh, is it granite? Granite, granite, granite. Is that granite? That's granite too. There you go. One less thing to have to worry about. But yeah, they could build all this thing pretty quickly. But all that gas is, is getting siphoned out super quick. Look at that. So we want to see. Got some over here. What is this? This is some highly compressed gas over here. Holy crap. Oh, you know why? I can't get over this because the water seal. Let's uh let's go ahead and actually break that seal so we can get that gas down here and get it the fuck out. We should see that gas start to break up a little bit. Yeah, there it goes. And it's going to start working its way down. So that'll be gone in just a moment here. As long as we don't get... I mean, oxygen going out is fine. Uh, as long as we get, like, a lot of hydrogen leaking out, which I don't think is going to happen. Just got to get that that pillow right there. A little cushion of uh, polluted gas. Get that thing out of here. It's working, though. Who was it that had that idea? That was a good one. Pop, pump, just pump the whole biome full of gas. It's fucking perfect. It's working. We don't have any leaks anywhere? I don't think so. I mean, this up here is leaking, but it's polluted oxygen, so it's fine. Yeah, shut up, Ira, wasn't you? <laughs> shut the fuck up. What do you want, credit for something? Get out of here. <laughs> polluted oxygen. I want to get all... If I can get all that polluted oxygen out, oh my god, I'll be so happy. And not have to use a pump or anything? Boom, baby. Oh, but look at our our, our uh, hydrogen values are getting pretty low over here. The machine's got to run on something. Mm, Mighty Mick! Baby Yoda. Oh, my God. No, I already know what, what song that is that you're singing that to, and I'm not going to say it. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> thank you for the months. <laughs> uh, this thing's melting super fast. I'm hoping it's not creating a seal right there, is it? Carbon dioxide, polluted gas. I think it might be creating a seal right there. Um, there's still a pretty significant pillow of hydrogen right there. Oh, you know what? Gas is getting through, so I guess I don't just have to. I don't have to have them kill themselves to get this thing going. That cushion up here is gone. Great. This is getting full now, which is awesome. She's working on this. Great. Oh, she already got this one done. Damn, Lindsay. Go. Woo. Let's see. Next activity is in 25.6 cycles. And this one she's working on right now. Man, Lindsay's the best. All right. Oh, let's check on our heat over here. Hey, I'll take it. Especially with these things being 125 degrees and sitting here chilling. Let's go ahead and move those somewhere else. Like down here. <laughs> Just out of the way. This base is running clean. 
I like it. 108 degrees, I could totally deal with that. Everything up here is putting out nominal amount of heat, 108 degrees, and that's not a big deal. 108 degrees, 101.6 degrees, totally. Totally workable. This area over here is getting hot. <laughs> 163 degrees, <laughs> yikes. 190 degrees. We're gonna eventually gonna get to the point to where it gets so hot in here that it's actually not going to convert to liquid form. I didn't think about that. But that's a long time from now, right? That's not a now, that's not a me right now thing. Hey, you know, maybe it's just me, but I feel like this area is turning bluer. Steam engine time. Yeah, that is the that is the point where I have to get to that. Yeah, totally. Don't really matter how much uh, stream it's gonna take to ban Era. I think Era could do that. Actually, he's pretty good with the maths. That's a problem for future me. That's right. Tomorrow, me. <laughs> Why is this so hot over here? For no reason. Damn it! Some bissel light just sitting here, just making everything hot. Actually, there's no heat generator or heat uh, transfer, so it's not doing anything. It's just chilling. But hot. Uh, still cleaning up. I guess whenever they get a chance to. No big deal. Take your time. But I do feel like that is putting out a, a good amount of heat. So some of this heat that we're seeing here is actually not because of the uh, um, because of the machines. It's, it's because of these damn things down here that are 100. Well, now it's 118 degrees. So. Storage unavailable. Oh, refined metal. There's no place to put a refined metal. Huh. Well, let's, uh, let's fix that. Just right here. Oh my god, there's probably refined metal all over the place. Yeah, there is. They're picking up from all over the place now. Well, good. That's gone now, which means this area starts to cool down just a little bit. Look at that. Takes one second. <laughs> How are we doing down here? Barely breathable polluted oxygen. Beautiful. Look at this. 43 degrees. I'll take it. Machine's getting flooded a little bit. We gotta stop, we got to, we have to figure out a way to stop this from, oh, hey, this is actually, uh, nope, it's still about the same. There's a water sealer, seal here now. Barely breathable polluted oxygen. I think we could probably go through and seal this off now because, I mean, this is 90, gra 90 grams, whatever, like, I mean, this will hold, yeah. We basically have like three or four squares worth of not hydrogen spread out across this whole thing here because there's not enough pressure from the hydrogen itself in order to push its way over there. So we could go ahead and actually, uh, but we'll leave it alone for now. We'll leave it alone for now. This area is filling up with natural gas, probably getting, uh, is he dormant? This is uh, over pressure? No, rising pressure. Okay, so it's that's about to actually blow. Let me see, choose a blueprint. What do we have here? Nymph egg, cool. We used to have a lot of nymphs. Don't know what happened to them though. Yikes. Uh, turn those on, get some of the natural gas back in there. Since everyone is still pissing in ice and melting it off, sounds like oxygen not included. <laughs> yes, they're all writing their names in snow over and over again until we can bust through that uh, the ice biome and tame it. <laughs> Look, it's everywhere. <laughs> Uh, although there's some that's not melting now, right? See? See? God, I really hope this works. That is snow and ice right there, so that's gonna be a problem as that continues to, uh, liquefy. It's gonna break into- Oh, and you know what? There's a bislight right here, so we just have to put a couple of, uh, we'll do this just for now. That's rust. 34 degrees is fine. Then you should, uh, change a band for someone bands ear to someone else. Oh, hey! That's not a bad idea. I, w I was only going to let one ban happen anyways. Bob's curious who was going to be the first one to pull the trigger. <laughs> so I don't want to like, I don't want to make this a hostile environment or anything. I should probably put, you know what? Let's do something for this room in here because it desperately needs some help. Let's do this. And then we're going to put ventilation. We're going to put a big ass. Oh, it's oxygen. Big ass air. <laughs> Unless you cheat something. I don't know how to add girders for anybody though. So I think you're good. I think you're good there. Anyways, everybody's going to clean all this well as polluted oxygen and get it out of here. Maybe we should put another one right here. It's not going to do anything if it doesn't have any uh, oxygen to work with. So this will just take care of what little bits we have here. 
Look at it go. It's gonna convert all that stuff. Look at it. It's a beast. <laughs> Some of you guys are collecting girders at just an amazing rate. I haven't seen very many um uh emote remixes. Are they just like not are the, are the add-ons just not that great? Like eventually, like, there's only so many ways to to remix a uh, an emote. They suck. Okay, that's what I was that's what I was thinking. I was like, people were all over that when it first happened. God, look at all this delicious clean air that we're gonna have coming out of there. That's great. There's like six. Oh, they definitely need to augment that a little bit. I think atmosphere is it because it's in water? Atmosphere plant is immersed in water. Okay, again, they'll eventually get through that. We don't have a hydrogen or we don't have a uh, carbon dioxide issue, so. Temperatures over here are 109 degrees, so it's a little warmer. 111 degrees. Well, it's not that hot, so nothing to worry about, basically. Okay, this one's done as well. No, uh, yeah, they're both done. So this one was dormancy in 60 cycles, 67 cycles, every 107 cycles. So it was like a 40, it's like a, almost exactly, like 39 and a half um, downtime cycles. This one has an active period of 65 cycles every 116 cycles. So this one actually has a huge gap of 50 cycles uh, versus 39.5 cycles in the other one. So, wow. The holiday ones are gone. They seem to be making them restricted to seasons. So it's like a Santa hat reindeer nose for Christmas. Man, they gotta just have, they gotta just like, just jump on top of these memes, man. Just like, just, <laughs> just make it all memes. Oh, look at that. Look at all that. Eventually, I think it'll get to this. No, it won't. Unless we get some carbon dioxide in there. This area is pretty hot as well. I don't think I want to mix it with the rest of my base. We'll let that go for now. I think they could fill that up through the wall. But whatever. As long as we tame some of that, I'm fine. This thing is uh, going to come alive in the next activity. Oh, next activity is 1.3 cycles. So it's actually, uh, yeah, it's going to wake up here in a second. So we're going to have a lot of heat. It's already so hot in here. It's going to it's going to just multiply. Yeah, steam. We might have to uh, break in somewhere. Not through here. I, I desperately need this to stay intact. So we'll probably go up like through here or something and then explore this route and then come down. Uh, and then maybe we'll re reinforce this with some uh, some other material or something. I don't know. We'll see. I just definitely don't want to have this thing intrude on this my uh, my food setup over here wrong element damage wrong element damage because there's yeah there's there's some nastiness in there but it's fine is it fine or should I do something about it we're generating you know what? I should do something about it this is that's kind of silly to not do anything uh, we should put a, a gas filter that just drops oxygen and everything else right here it's not gonna take that much work I don't know why I'm being such an asshole about it honestly let me see. Uh, let's see, gas valve, shut up, gas filter. So let's see. We'll just put it right here, I guess. Gas goes in. And then gas goes out. And then this gas goes into this. And it goes out the vent. Perfect. And then a little bit of power, because we need that too. Okay, slow down. Conductive wire, we'll use that. What do we have? Lots of everything, so ish. And then we'll go we'll to snip. Snip, snip, snip. Snip these right here, so here to here. Good. And then you'll tell it to only push through natural gas. See, that wasn't so hard. I was totally being a jerk about it. See, that's all I had to do. But it's the power, man. It uses so much power. What is it using? 120 watts, man. I need that power. Build another natural gas generator. But at least we'll stop we'll stop the problem of them like having to constantly repair it. Because that's taking that's taking time out of their day to do that. Like, I, like, I, like I've been saying, I, I really want to keep this about as low-tech as possible before we start going to space and doing all that. Salt water, sure, I'll take it. Water over here is getting pretty hot. What is she going up here for? Who is that? Oh, you gotta get that. I guess you gotta get that igneous rock. Who is that? David Devil. Alright, get it. 
seems excessive to have three, but you know what? They're still getting work done. They're planning their schedule around that. Power is good. Let me, let me actually take a look at the uh, colony summary here. I haven't watched this yet. That's kind of cool. All right, we'll come back to later. Uh, okay, that's enough. Let me see. What was I gonna look up? I was gonna look up average travel time. It's about the same. We have two critters that domestic domesticated, right? Huh? Domesticated. Wow, it's tough word for some reason. Uh, wild critters have exploded. Oh my god. Power. Thank you so much. Thank you. So I try work power duplicates travel time work time oxygen cable comes up. Average power wasted. Oh, okay, so we're we're still doing pretty good. We had a huge spike of power just wasted up here, back on 170 something, 160 something. But overall, we're doing pretty good. My my average power produced is going up, but we're using it, so that's what matters. Good. Thank you, Cloud. Now we know. Yeah, now we got all these things studied. Oh, so yeah. So we're we're actually now running low on it doesn't use that much hydrogen but we're putting more hydrogen out into the atmosphere over here than we are actually um putting in the bank to be used by the machine that's supposed to be cooling the whole zone so we need to and this is not putting out anything because this is blocked okay okay so we have another problem now <laughs> this just in another issue uh, so I played Banished again the other day. So many of my people died in work-related accidents. I was about to call a shot myself. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Banished. Banished, that's such a good one. Let's, okay, let's see. Uh, so I have, obviously, an issue here with hydrogen. This one little electrolyzer is doing a great job of pushing oxygen to the base, but we have too much gas pressure because we have such an awesome amount of air everywhere so we need to start pulling some of this hydrogen from other areas and bringing it down here we have no method of pulling it down using existing piping we have to make lay a new set of pipes in order to get it down here we need a bridge we need to uh, probably when you made those net that was that was like um a couple hundred cycles ago so i don't even remember what the hell it was but I wonder if we should probably maybe just go ahead and just stop the uh, this right now. We'll just put it to zero. There is a second vent. Not for that one, though. I should actually, you know what I should do? Just to optimize this a little bit more. Like, have this feed to this instead of going up and out. God, why didn't I do that before? And then I could kill this electrolyzer here. Because all this is doing is putting out hydrogen, which is great. But I'd rather have the hydrogen centralized somewhere else. Sam! Ban era! Is that your one, your one wish? <laughs> Are you sure that's what you want? Uh, let's see. It's going to and then we're gonna go and da 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 da. That'll at least give us another output to uh, to work with, and then hopefully this will once the once the suits get docked. I wonder if I should actually get another. You know what? I wonder if I should move this over and get another couple of suits here, so that way I can have more dupes coming over here, which consume more oxygen. Let's do it. We have- to, I already have two more suits. We just gotta move stuff. Uh, which won't be too hard. Let me see. What is it? Station? Station. What are we looking for again? Looking for the thing. Atmos suit dock. No, it's a suit dock. Sorry. It's a checkpoint. There we go. Is that made out of? Something we have a lot of. Iron. Then we will... Oh, we have to leave the suit... We have to leave the dock open so they can actually work on it. <laughs> Maybe we'll build one just in case of some weird problem because we have overlapping suit docks or something. Uh, let's see. Iron. We can an iron. We can hold this out of iron. Mirror's <laughs> gonna ban himself before you guys can get to him. He gotcha. He gotcha. Let's see. Deliver suit. We gotta put pipes and all that stuff too, so I might as well go ahead and run that. Uh, no, 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 just. Then we'll go. On, and then put one here, because that's gonna be something here. Eventually. Who's that? 
Oh, hey, Corpse, thanks for hooking him up. Come on in. I swear that changed. I used to say so and so gifted so and so something. Uh, but it does not say that now. And I'm a suit. Okay, good. So we're good there. So we, now we have a, 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 a suit there. Let's go ahead and uh, deconstruct this right here. And we'll put another dock there. And this will help suck in some of that oxygen. And we could relocate this electrolyzer somewhere else. Preferably somewhere else that we need to have oxygen ported into some suits. Yeah. What is that thing on that tonight? Okay. They're sleeping right now. I guess that's fine. Why is there a suit on the ground? Sweep that shit up. Ah. <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's do it. There we go. Okay, stations. Ammo suit dock. Mega iron. Strong. Strong docks. What is it made out of? Aluminum. Yeah, I don't want an aluminum docks. Need to be strong. There we go. There, that should help uh, release some of the pressure. Yeah, look at that, see? Because these, these dupes do use a fair amount of oxygen while they're out running around doing stuff, like from their suits. So this is perfect. This will help alleviate some of the uh, the back pressure that we that we had because of the uh, uh, because of this. You see, this is already actually backing up. Um, but hopefully this buys us a little bit more time so we can continue to keep keeping this fed and getting this whole biome fed, really. Um, I guess as long as there is polluted water, we're gonna get, we're gonna just have, uh, polluted oxygen. But, if we get enough hydrogen gas in there, we shouldn't... There shouldn't be enough pressure, or there should be too much pressure for that to actually put out any, any, uh, shit oxygen, so we'll see. There's a way to combine oh, girders. <laughs> oh man, corpse. <laughs> oh dang. Thank you, corpse. There's a little bit of snow here. What's the temperature in this area? Oof, still, it's still pretty green and nasty down here. I can't tell if it's actually getting warmer or hotter or what. Technically, it's warmer up here. There's a little pool of polluted oxygen up here, so I don't know if that counts. Because right above it, it's negative four degrees, see? It was zero degrees before. What was that? Hmm, I don't know. But the machine's running. That's all we need. Machine's running. We can, uh, I guess we could kill this. Yeah, we can kill this. Hey, we saved a little bit of power there. Let's see, uh, just the electrolyzer. It's gonna be a pool of water everywhere. And then we will, I guess we'll just connect the, the hoses here. I can't really think of anything else we need to put here. Uh, we should connect those hoses though. Yes, there's water everywhere. Just clean it up. It's fine. Just water. Speaking of, I think we put too much water in here. Now it's like these things are not working at all. Thankfully, we don't have a problem with carbon dioxide still. Uh, we do have some polluted oxygen up here, actually. Oh, wow. Yeah, we do have a fair amount of polluted oxygen up here just doing some work. Tiniest little bits. Tiniest little bits. That's fine. Once it gets past a certain point, it's just going to get destroyed anyway. So this area over here is looking pretty good. There's a puddle here. I'm not talking to you, Siri. Siri, get my face. Uh, there's a huge pool of polluted oxygen here. Just can't wait to get out. <laughs> and this area here, temperature-wise, is building up significantly. 216 degrees. We are getting... We're getting to the point where we're just gonna have steam in here. Yeah. Big ass and chlorine. God, we have some future problems. Future problems. Not now. What happens if this water gets backed up? We're not using water for anything. Ooh. 
What if... <clears throat> Excuse me. Um... No. I was, I was, so I, what I was thinking was, what if I take some of this water and refeed it back into this reservoir and then try to equalize the temperature in here? Uh, but now that I think about it, that's that's not going to work because there's just too much. I mean, we have to relieve this pressure eventually anyways once all these reservoirs get full because once that gets full, then all this gets backed up. And if that gets backed up, then this water's going to continue to freeze and the pipe's going to burst and we have all kinds of problems. So we do have to relieve that pressure eventually. But it's not going to be solved by dumping it back into here because all that's going to do is uh, it's the, the 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 water. There's not enough water to make that much of a difference. Well, let's see. Uh, there is. Uh, let's see. Five tons. Oh, wow. I, I was looking for keys, but no, five tons of water in that 116 degrees. And each one has got five tons. And this is God, I guess it could work. Like, if I just dump, like, a ton of just cool water, it could equalize the temperature in there. And it's building up. We could just have a valve, and just whenever it gets full, then we just open it up and just let it just, just dump it. Because we're not using that water. We're just passively cooling it. Oh, no, wait, no, 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 no. Wait. Yeah, now I have a better idea. Let's stop the water from going into the damn system. Uh... That way, that room has more time to recover. Oh my god, that's a way better idea. But we need to put the block somewhere, like here somewhere, like... Oh, there's a valve right here, look at that. Let's turn this off. Hey Hank, thanks for that follow. Let's, let's turn this off. Yeah, that'll do it. Watch, someone's gonna come through this gate, and then this thing's gonna start going ham for just like two seconds. Okay, so if we stop pumping water into that system, then that's less heat transfer, less, less energy, tra energy transfer. Du -du -du -du. <laughs> it's like seeing that. That's how you know it works. Um, that wasn't zero. Did you do that? Did you not set it? Uh, I said send it to zero. That should be putting zero water through. I guess they didn't... Uh, Oh, it's a, well, his work iron is still active. Okay. Oh, you know what? They keep on cleaning this thing. Don't, don't, uh, disable disinfect. There we go. I wonder how much time was wasted doing that. So it's like you've had that idea before. Did I have that idea before? Well, fuck yesterday, me. Today, me. It's got the good ideas. <laughs> All right. So, yes, we can potentially recover this entire area here by just. Stop feeding it. Just stop feeding it nasty water. Or, uh, tr hot water. I hope this works. 